they're all um, mixed races. And so it's very interesting to see that. And yet, at the same time, we're making all this progress, and we have um, the killing of the poor guy. Um, and then we fall back into that, that, which is terrible. Yeah. In and, Minneapolis. And, uh, let me see the Minneapolis. And, and now there's burning. Today, there's burning all over America. Cities all are burning over. All over. Buildings. And I, I never understood uh-huh. when you're doing the writing to go burn random buildings. But anyway, there's something going on there. Um, and I, I'm not meaning to offend anybody. I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. And then the, everybody's grappling with their racism, you know. Um, well, I think a lot of people who are in yeah. the elementary stages are are coming out. I mean, you know, they're, um, I don't know. They have, Everybody to me is equal. Uh, it's not about color. It's not about anything. It's about a, a spirit. It's about the self. But there's a lot of this happening, a lot of crime, a lot of uh, just uh, murder, you know. Uh, I mean, that man yeah. uh, in Minnesota literally killed this man who was begging for his life. And I think that right. as we evolve to a higher level of spirit and love, less and less of these things hopefully will happen. And that's what light workers and people who are here to do this are from. And our own species of where we came from, too. Mm-hmm. you know, play a part in an ability to help out with that. So I think it's sad. In in many parts, like what you said, Janet, it's going backwards to, as right. far as the racism is concerned, which is terrible. Yeah, I remember, so, uh, I'm 66, and I remember the race riots, and I lived in the northeast of the country, and uh, in Pittsburgh, and under, um, in, I think it was six, 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 seven, six, yeah, he said, I, I want to say it was 12, so it was uh, 66 or 67, and I, um, I walked down through with my girlfriend through this part of town, which you could still still see the smoldering fires. They had put them out there with a little bit of smoke mm-hmm. coming out of the rubble. And, and, uh, anyway, so I personally experienced it. I had to face my own uh, fears. She wanted to walk down into this part that was so black and it was so burning and and I she said we're going down there when we're walking past it on the outskirts and I said really and um and I, I was facing well what am I afraid of um, just because something's a different color so I decided to just go with her I said okay let's walk down there and so you could see it was an all black neighborhood and they're looking out their windows and these two little Teenage white girl boldly walking down, and and uh, she was two years older than me, so I just followed her, and she walked up to one of the houses, and she walked up to the door, and somebody answered, and she said, "Just checking, are you okay?" And they came to the door, and said, "Yeah, we're fine." It was a brief conversation, and we went on. So now um, there was an article that said that um, like basically everybody's a racist, right? And, and I've, I've had these conversations about racism. I, I have a very dark-skinned Cuban fellow who lives on my property, and so, um, and you know, I'm in a, I'm in a very mixed uh, world, um, and I have a, a very dark-skinned um, uh, Native American, um, probably South American tribe, or you know, some some Native American or light lighter skinned, and and I'm just looking at all these people. Here in Maui, and it's like sometimes they go, what what are they? But then it's like, why is that so important that you don't have to categorize people and and, and figure out who they are, right? And then I I right. have covered in my own work that I am a multi-dimensional self, and I remember incarnations that are not past life or future life, but they're simultaneous, where often I am in different uh, species avatars. You know, I could be. Something that flies, something that's in the water. I have one that uh, is underground and it just um, it rolls over rock like it, you know, like you're sliding on snow, right? And I come back into my human form and I try to integrate this, and I feel very thankful that I made this experience. But 
you know, talk about racism. What about other species? Their species is some racist. My species uh-huh. is better than yours. My... So um, in saying all that, I, I'd like to put out, we have like about um, 20 minutes left in the show, and it's how do we get past these obstacles where we judge, we prejudge, we're prejudiced, we judge, um, and then there's all this polarity around, you know, race and, and uh, uh, sex and gender. Um, how do you see us going from here, which is a, a polarity and projection and projection, to unity consciousness, to like a Star Trekian society? Like, I always put that to both of you, but Karen Newperson and TJ. How do you see us getting there from here? Well, yeah, I feel like that when we see a broader perspective outside of the earth plane, uh, there are going to be many different types of, like, races, species. There are some that are blue. There are some that are green. There are some that are all kinds of colors and shapes and sizes. And I think that the earth, I think we will get past all this. I, I sure hope so. But I think that those of us who come down here without any, um, you know, without any judgment, there's a lot of judgment and critical and cruelty, even without racism especially, going on now when Mm -hmm. this is, when all these crises are happening. And there's a lot of it in the ufology field, (laughs) which sh- mm-hmm. shouldn't be, and hopefully that'll stop. But because we're trying to blend the people into their light of their highest self, which they're acting out a play, this is just a play. And sometimes if we get to a higher level, sometimes when we get to a certain stage of vibration among ourselves, and I know y'all have felt this too, you can feel it within you and all of a sudden you feel like, everything around you is a prop and you become embossed Mm -hmm. and you're then the observer of everything around and I think as people I think a lot of people feel that they don't know how to tell it but I think as they their higher self or their spirit self awakens to curiosity to seek I think that changes and at this moment, I feel like that it's gotten rough out there because there are not enough people wanting to say what seek what's out there. They want to stay put in a certain conservative religious thing or that sort of thing, conventional, conventionality. And they're not mm-hmm. wanting to seek their path, to seek a path of higher journey. But I think that these these type of sad tragedies do awaken more people to do that. That's my opinion of what I've seen with my students, that it's they get that way. And it's hard, but it's the outcome can be beautiful when the person realizes that they're the architect of their play and they accept and believe that, then things manifest of what they want and what's best, and it goes into a higher understanding, and it creates a euphoric feeling in this solar plexus region of just pure love. And I know you we've all experienced that. Yes. Okay, um, let's we'll pass the talking stick over to TJ. TJ, you have worked on board ships with many other species. Could you describe the other species that you worked with and how these different ones were there and um, what were the differences and what were the commonalities? Well, it depends on who you're working with because, you know, we're all uh, energy. And What's about you? Who did, who did you well, work with? I was still who in did you personally form. work with? I all worked with beings mm-hmm. that looked just like us. Uh, I'd call them more light workers than anything. Most of them have the intelligence of uh, the universal order, 
and the dimensions and why they're working together for the good of uh, humankind, so to speak. But they also are the caregivers and stewards of uh, terraforming planets and hubs for uh, energy gatherings of the humanoid kind. So uh, the, some of them that were of various skin colors, I understood, was their uh, culture and where their souls are born in various parts of the universe. There were the pale pinks and the uh, pale blues, and, you know, it's like when our blood, we have oxygen joined it. Some of them had copper, uh, a copper golden tan. Uh, there were gold beings, so it depended on their deity or god level is what I understood. Uh, a lot of the ancients that would come down and observe during uh, well, us, you know, with nuclear technology or zero-point energy or how far we're getting. Uh, the historians, they were extraterrestrials, but they had six, wait, they had four fingers. And in order to come and uh, be like in Australia or Europe or somewhere, they would have a dig, uh, go through a process where they'd put another finger on to blend in on this planet. And then the gray, uh, some of them were uh, actually little, uh, like they call them the little Japanese. Some of them were brown with the big eyes. Now, there, uh, we didn't discuss Annie Jacobson, but some of the things I'd like to tell you about since you asked that question is a lot of what the intelligence uh, propaganda from World War II is that Russia, Germany, uh, you know, with Hitler ganged up because his interest in the uh, – metaphysical or the UFO ET world, and that may have been. I don't know because I don't have a life during that period, but I did have that memory come up as a gray. So uh, we were uh, paler because we don't work on the planets with the suns, you know, but we work in space. But the little gray uh, AI entities were, like, uh, chosen because they wanted to help their uh, humankind, and the little grays, when their planet was imploded, well, they, those people from that other universe went there and destroyed their planet. They teamed up, just like in the movies and televisions, wherever people get their um, content to make movies and television for our entertainment purposes. Uh, we've seen a lot of them in Star Trek, Star Wars, and even uh, Stargate, to the, you know, whatever the Stargates. Those little people, they were highly intelligent, and they wouldn't harm anybody, but they don't harm because they're fragile. They're not made to last. They're made to travel and do research. They're little bitty, tiny, thin-skinned people. And, uh, you know, it's just sort of a gray, a gray thin uh, thing. So uh, the beings that I worked with, they were uh, those that were over all the universes at the God-deity level. So they're deities, and they... Uh, expand universes with uh, beings that are humanoid biologicals, but also, you know, the ones you're asking me about were AI. They were uh, where we're going here on this planet is when we joined, uh, and we've done it before, folks. These are just uh, maybe wiped off due to nature or maybe some help from some of the deities at their level when they, you know, cleaned up a planet or re structured it for uh, use. Uh, I don't see it. This one's been here for billions of years or maybe even trillions. I don't expect it going away. They like this uh, system for learning. But some of them that are sent, uh, well, one of my messages, which I didn't want, but I guess I chose maybe in this reality was uh, letting us know that I would be here during the Ascension Age, the AI where we go into... Uh, well, where we're going to use AI together with biologicals. So uh, that's Great. a little hard to digest for me even, but uh, we can do that again in the future. So there's beings that we're going to become So what do you mean by where we use AI with biologicals? Explain that, break that down for us. So is that what we're doing with, like, Sophia and the other AI and... Well, we're, we're doing it now to. with our robotics with I, Elon Musk. We're doing it with, uh, you know, how we're mm-hmm. we're going to be having. What it is is we want more da- data. We want more more. We want more knowledge inside our brain, and we know we don't have the capacity. So as we do the plasticity of the brain right. and figure out, you know, our system with our nervous system, it has to be not just our brain but our neurological system. 
our spinal cord nervous system, we look pretty alien without these uh, meat suits on them. You know, we look pretty archaic. It's just a brain and a nervous